Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, or good morning, or good afternoon, or whatever time you happen to be accessing this beautiful, beautiful channel. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Lorenzo News. This is the third episode, and if you guys haven't noticed, we kind of have a little bit of a new setup. We don't have a new recording setup just yet. That's coming soon. But pretty much you see that usually I'm in the upper right-hand corner. But unfortunately, right now I cannot because we do have things going on in the screen. So hopefully this will be the new uh, new setup because we are now affiliated with Meatloaf Man Productions, as we have always been, and Team Triforce, Team Triforce, <laughs> uh, as always. And so now I kind of want to just give them a shout out right here on my Lorenzo News. So they're here. And so that title will pretty much always be the same. Uh, maybe I'll just use different text, but their pictures will always be up there right next to the title of the news. So, if you guys can tell, today's episode has to do something with video games and superheroes. Without further ado, do let's get started. So, this comes from the Chinese mainland, really amazing. China is lifting their ban on video game sales. So, what does that mean? That means that people in China can buy video games now. That's amazing. It comes from the, uh, it was all over the news, in fact, uh, Huffington, Huffington Post and all these other uh, news sources, they covered it. And they said that because China is kind of like a communist uh, nation, they really restrict their people from doing certain things. In fact, I used to know somebody from Shanghai, China. I won't disclose who they are, just for their protection. But that I met them at a summer program last year and it just so happened that they had made a Facebook and they kept telling me oh I'm breaking a law just by talking to you because I am from China and they really cut down on this stuff and so I didn't meet I didn't get a chance to really talk to her until I actually met her at the actual uh, at the actual program and then we actually got to talking and we're like oh okay now I understand so because China is very communist they like all this stuff about like social media they completely disagree with it in fact they keep their people from doing it and the people they're completely okay with it because this is just how China is they've teach their they've taught their people okay this is how you're supposed to live and the people are just like okay this is how we live and so that's completely uh, different from how we live you know we live with more freedom they don't however they believe that what they're getting is freedom and so who are we to criticize right so I love this picture right here It really shows what's going on right now with China uh, that the video games are starting to pour in so what does that say it talks a little bit about economics and so that it means an increase in video game sales coming from the Chinese mainland and not illegal ones but completely legal ones coming from the nation and also that means more developers from China who are going to be making games from within China and hopefully importing them to the rest of the world which is great for us because now we have more massive multiplayers that we can play with people from China because they're able to play them as well as we have people who from China who probably can contribute to the video gaming community and so this is really great news uh, and so you get the Lorenzo stamp of approval the thumbs up the Lorenzo thumbs up kudos to you China you're finally getting with the times next we have something new here new segment right here on Lorenzo news and you know three episodes in we're finally introducing something new right <laughs> funny so pretty much as new time goes on you guys are going to start seeing a lot more new things coming to our ch this channel as well as coming for this uh, this particular program and so even though you don't really see anything on the screen at the moment I will show you exactly what I mean so you hear a lot especially if you guys are on Facebook or um, or even just following the news about certain movies that are coming out and so here we are we're here to discuss them analyze them whatever we can give our opinions and whatever we hear and so you might hear us talk about how much we hate a movie but yet we're still gonna go see it and so this is gonna be a really great experience for you guys and for myself and so whatever you guys think please feel free to write it in the comments about these movies only or how much you enjoyed this show alright this is just great constructive criticism for myself and for the team that's helping me write this show all right, and so without further ado, do let's introduce lights, camera, action, and this is called film reel 
prediction record. And so let's get started on this brand new segment. So if you guys haven't heard, there's going to be a new Batman movie. Woo, cue applause, woo. <laughs> All right, so it's gonna be Batman versus Superman. Another applause, woo. This is really crazy. No one has ever heard of this. And so, you know, this is not really new news. You know, this has been going around for a while that yes, they're going to be making a Batman versus Superman movie. It's, I mean, it's been around for like two years now that this is going to happen. But ri rude. Anyways, so pretty much what's going to happen is Batman and Superman are going to fight. That's it. <laughs> well, no, that, that's not really it. Uh, also, Wonder Woman's in it. Uh, ben Affleck is playing uh, Batman, and also the same guy who plays the Superman. I don't really pay attention. I haven't watched the Superman movie. Please don't kill me. Uh, the Superman, the guy who played Superman in the very last Superman movie, will be reprising his role. In addition, Batman uh, is completely different from the Batman Begins, Batman Dark Knight Rises, and Dark Knight. This is a completely new story arc, so we are not concerning ourselves with Christian Bale or that or the Heath Ledger Joker. We are now considering ourselves with a bigger foe, Lex Luthor, and the, who will be played by Jesse Eisenberg, also known as the guy with the curly hair from The Social Network, also known as Mark Zuckerberg's actor. <laughs> yeah, he will be playing Lex Luthor with a full head of hair. Really great, and I can't wait to see this. And so he kind of plays a really comedic, like, cynical type of Lex Luthor based on uh, what we've seen so far. And so it really looks great. I can't wait to see it. It's going to be such quite different because, you know, the suit and everything, it looks amazing. We went to Comic-Con last year and they showed only a little bit of the suit, of Ben Affleck's suit. And then we were just like, wow, well, why can't they show us the rest? Because it's made of freaking robot parts. That is freaking awesome. It reminds me a lot of the Arkham Knight. And it reminds me a lot of... um like the 1990s Joker, uh, 1990s Joker, 1990s Batman from the series, uh, 1990s where he was like big buff and kind of a little old, not really that old, but kind of old, um, and he was in the cave and everything, the Batcave, uh, the one that preceded Batman Beyond, which by the way is one of my favorite animated Batman series because I love how his suit looks. Anyways, so now that that's over, we have another movie to discuss. This is Suicide Squad! And so, following up on the theme of Batman, we are now talking about the villains, or the villains, from the Batman movies and uh, comics. And so, the Suicide Squad, if you guys haven't heard of them, they are really, really, really scary, yet punk, yet a good band of people. I, good. And they're they're pretty much the protagonist in this next movie called Suicide Squad, uh, and so Jared Leto will be playing the Joker, which is this picture, right? Whichever way it is, this picture right here on the screen of uh, the Joker. It looks very punk rock type, like he's gonna really hurt you. And it's funny because even in the um, even if you guys watch the trailer, he pretty much says, "Oh, don't worry, I'm not gonna kill you." I'm just gonna hurt you real bad and it's really really funny you know like he it's, it's terrifying it's like Heath Ledger Joker put up to the max and kind of reminds me a lot of the killing joke Joker and so that was really great of them as well as you see Harley Quinn is up there and um, El Diablo all these other characters I can't really name them at the moment because I'm not really a big Suicide Squad fan however until this movie comes out next year, I will have to get into the series. I have a few of the comics, and so I will be able to read up on who these villains are uh, a little bit into their um, their characters. I can't wait for this movie. This looks really great. The, the way that it's portrayed, it's really, really mysterious. But if you guys haven't seen the trailer, go ahead and check it out. Uh, just type in Suicide Squad on YouTube, and the first thing that pops up should be the trailer. And it is flawless you really it's really mysterious you guys can't wait for it all right and next finally we have one more thing here's the count of the number of movies coming out in five or so years wrong count <laughs> one movie ah 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 boo movie wrong count here's the real count 
Alright, so here are the movies coming out all the way up to 2019 from this year, 2015. So Ant-Man, you got, that actually just came out last week. Uh, it stars, um, wow, I can't even remember the guy's name. Dwayne The Rock Johnson is in it. <laughs> uh, and if you guys really want to go see it, go see it. It's really great um, if you, since it's out now. Fantastic Four will be coming out next month and looks great because if you guys haven't seen the Fantastic Four 1 and Fantastic Four 2 Rise of the Silver Surfer from the very first uh, a few many 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 years ago it's it's also I think those are pretty great movies just just to be honest they were really good but a lot of people tend to disagree with me uh, in fact I used to own the uh, the movie novel version of the first of the first Fantastic Four I used to read it over and over and over again it was really great uh, but it's really good to see that they're re finally rebooting it and so uh, I think the actors are not as well known as they were back then you know Jessica Alba back then was played uh, played a uh, invisible woman it's really great that this is all happening now and so then in February we finally get Deadpool the Deadpool movie starring Ryan Reynolds this is going to be so exciting I ha I have seen I haven't seen the trailer yet and because they they kind of like it didn't leak until a few days after I was searching for it and I just got lazy I haven't found it yet. Then there's Batman vs Superman in March, uh, Captain America Civil War. So if you guys haven't seen the Avengers 2: uh, Rise of Ultron, the Civil War Captain America kind of just falls into that Marvel Cinematic Universe, right? X Men Apocalypse. If you guys have never played the Game Boy Game Game Boy, wow, GameCube game. I'm having a really off day. Sorry guys. Uh, the GameCube game with the giant guy with the eyes in the back and then you see all the X-Men in the front not the Magneto one This is that's pretty much the movie version of that. And I can't wait for that Doctor Strange so that's gonna be something really cool kind of just comes out of nowhere along with the Suicide Squad which is also uh, They kind of just started talking about it a few weeks ago, and they're like whoa, there's a Suicide Squad movie uh, we already talked about the, that. Uh, Gambit, also X Men, and they're reviving uh, the Wolverine movie. So, and I, I, if I remember correctly, I don't think Hugh Jackman's reprising his role, and that's in 2017. So that's already a little too far. Then there's Guardians of the Galaxy 2 in May 2017. I can't wait. I love the very first Guardians of the Galaxy, especially the the whole. 60s, 70s music, 80s, that's amazing, the Awesome Mix Volume 1, I actually have the Awesome Mix on my phone because I like to listen to it uh, on the train and everything. Then Wonder Woman, following the Batman vs Superman movie, will be having her own movie and that will be so awesome. Along with Spider-Man, is going to be rebooted again, the Amazing Spider-Man, uh, because Captain America Civil War he will be featured at the in that movie somewhere in that movie but then he will have his own reboot all over again uh, which is kind of sad because I really did like the Andrew Garfield I think I thought that it, it really started to stick to the whole idea of the uh, the Marvel supervillain superhero that every that everybody really wanted so then the follow in two years after the Fantastic Four comes out in July 2017 they will be the sequel so everything is kind of just coming together really slowly and so I can't wait till all this kind of just comes through you know then Thor will be coming out the uh, sequel to the Thor movie I think they're on the fourth movie if I can't remember third or fourth movie and then in November 2017 the same month they will be releasing the Justice League the Justice League that is what all this hubbub about DC starting to get back on their feet is all about they are trying to release a Justice League movie, so they are trying to kind of get on the same boat that Marvel has been going, that Marvel has been releasing numerous movies per year that all have to relate around the same theme and, you know, that whole ending episode, uh, ending of the movies with, like, are all connected somehow. Whether that be uh, in Iron Man where they find Thor's hammer or even... Um, Rocket like in Gardens of the Galaxy or Howard the Duck, but they're talking a lot about Thanos and the Infinity Stone, you know, everything kind of just connects back to each other and Then the flash in 2018 if you guys haven't seen the series go ahead and watch it. It's an amazing series uh, Really good heard a lot of great things about it then 
Avengers Infinity War Part 1. So that is when everything starts with the whole Infinity Gauntlet and the Infinity Wars with Thanos, uh, Ultron, everything, everything is gonna, like, Ultron's done, but, I mean, like, the whole, uh, ring idea with, that they featured in the Ultron film, also, this is all just going to be coming together, like, Guardians of the Galaxy, it's all just making one full circle, trying to be Infinity Wars, Infinity Gauntlet, everything is just coming. Black Panther! Uh, that's also gonna be a really cool movie, so if you guys haven't seen, um, if you guys have seen the animated Avengers movie from many years ago Black Panther is the one that's wearing all black and so I can't wait to see how he's gonna look and the story that kind of revolves around him now July 2018 I can't really remember exactly what that symbol is although it does look pretty promising so if you guys know what it is please drop your uh, whatever you think it is down there in the in the description uh, description the comments below what exactly that symbol is I might not know but you guys probably will Captain Marvel will be coming out in tw November 2018 as well as I think they're going to be making another Flash sequel so that will be great one year after the first Flash and then after that the Avengers Infinity War I think that's the conclusion to the whole Infinity War Infinity Gauntlet type thing I can't wait to see that that's going to be in May 2019 and so as you can see Marvel has their entire lineup all the way up to I think the last thing I heard 2027 so they pretty much are set for the next 10 12 years of movies and then Justice League 2 will come out and so I think a lot of these will just kind of just slowly start to decrease in like oh these are the number of movies that are coming out because they still need to think of them and then Inhumans is the last movie on this count July 2019 we will be talking about the other movies in a different episode all the way up to 2027 but I kind of just wanted to bring these up, kind of just talk a little bit about them of how much uh, I really can't wait to, to go spend a lot of money and go watch them. Um, on that note, I really hope you enjoy this episode. I really did. The whole uh, film reel prediction thing is really amazing. And I have to thank Ray for giving me these topics as well as helping me uh, decide on what movies to talk about. And so he kind of helped me a lot on this. And so thank you to all of you at home who are watching me. You guys are awesome. And I just hit 50 subscribers today. I know that's just a tiny number, but we're growing. We're growing, guys, and things are happening for me. So this is really great for me. I'm finally a YouTube partner, and so everything is happening really slowly. But let's see where it takes me. So this is Royal Du Lorenzo, and I'm signing off on the third episode of Lorenzo News. See you guys next time.